Hello, my name is David Kahn. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center, and today we're going to be talking about chronic urticaria. You may ask yourself, what is chronic urticaria? Well, the term urticaria is something that most people are not familiar with. Most people are familiar with with a term called hives, and hives are described as raised, itchy, oftentimes look like mosquito bite lesions, and these are itchy, red, very uncomfortable to patients. They can range in size from just a very small size, you know, less than the size of a dime, to several inches. Some people who have hives also will have a different type of hive that occurs deeper in the tissue, which results in swelling, most commonly in the lips or eyelids, and we have a medical term for that called angioedema. Now, when patients have these hives and or swellings, and this goes on for more than six weeks, we arbitrarily classify that as a condition called chronic urticaria. Chronic urticaria is a very uh, disabling condition. People don't die from this, but it is very miserable to people because they're constantly scratching, feeling itchy, have difficulty sleeping, concentrating, going to work or school, and it really impairs the quality of life of patients. This is very different than the more common form, which is acute urticaria, equally miserable, but doesn't last as long. So you can imagine having mosquito bites all over your body every day for sometimes years can be quite a miserable condition. Now the good news is that chronic urticaria, while it can last a long time, typically goes away on its own. So most patients we expect this is a temporary condition and eventually will go away. Now, the other question I'd like to address is, what causes chronic urticaria? Hives can be caused by a number of different things. Sometimes we think about foods or insect stings or medications. These are common causes for the very short-lived acute urticaria, but are much less common causes of chronic urticaria. Similarly, chronic diseases rarely cause chronic urticaria. In fact, most of the time, as allergists, we are unable to determine a cause of chronic urticaria, and we label patients with the term called idiopathic. We don't really understand what is causing their urticaria. Over time, we hope to understand that further, but right now, the majority of patients that we evaluate, we're unable to find a cause. Now, that doesn't mean we shouldn't look for things, and in fact, the evaluation starts with a very thorough history to look for any signs of any other diseases that someone might have. Also, a careful physical examination. Are these really hive lesions or are they something else? After a careful history and physical examination, the provider may not decide to do any testing, and that's okay. Sometimes no testing or very limited testing is appropriate in the evaluation of chronic hives. Rarely does one need to do extensive testing and since allergy is usually not a major contributor to chronic urticaria, a lot of allergy tests are oftentimes not required in patients being evaluated for chronic urticaria. Now, what about treatment? What are the treatment options for chronic urticaria? As I said, this is a condition that typically goes away on its own, but in the meantime, patients are very uncomfortable, very miserable. Most patients can be managed with antihistamines. Newer, what we refer to as second-generation antihistamines, are less sedating and typically well-tolerated. These are, are dosed at normal doses like you would for allergies in some patients, but if that doesn't provide significant relief, we oftentimes will increase the dose above the recommended doses, which we know is actually safe to do, and patients can gain control. Now, not all patients with chronic hives will respond to these antihistamine medications, and sometimes other medications are required. And there are a number of different medications that have been used in patients with antihistamine-resistant chronic urticaria, the newest of which is a medication used for asthma, referred to as omalizumab or Zolaire. This is certainly not required for all patients with chronic urticaria, only a subset of more severe patients. So on the whole, 
Chronic urticaria is a condition which we don't understand the reason why people have it. The good news is it will go away, and the other good news is we can manage this condition. Even though we don't know what the cause is, we can find medications to control the, con the condition until the symptoms resolve and patients then are satisfied and, and, and feel better and are able to do what they want to do and improve their quality of life.